Hello, my name is Megan Toman, and I am in my fourth year of kinesiology. I will be teaching an Inuit game called Back Push, and it originates from Nunavut in northern Canada. Traditional Inuit games serve two main purposes, survival or celebration. The game I have chosen to teach is a game that builds survival skills as well as encourages the Inuit people to stay active in cold environments. This game is about using strength to push an opponent outside of the boundaries. Inuit pushing and pulling games focus on the development of strength in different parts of the body to prepare for hunting. Hunters require great body strength because after they kill an animal, they must bring it back to the community. Animals that are commonly used in the Arctic can be extremely heavy, such as polar bears, seals, and walruses, and hunting provides the Inuit people with food, clothing, and shelter. Building physical strength must be combined with mental strength, hunting skills, patience, and stamina to be a successful hunter in Inuit culture. To play the Inuit backpush game, no equipment is needed. Although in the demonstration, footwear seemed to be an advantage for one of the players because their shoes had better grip on the ground. So participants may need shoes with good grip or to just play barefoot. The boundaries can either be a circle or two lines at both ends. And in the demonstration, we use the circle as the boundaries. You and your opponent will start sitting on the floor back to back in the center of the boundaries. To start, you will place your right hand on the floor between your legs and your left hand on the floor outside of your left leg. Your knees must be bent with your feet flat on the floor. The goal of this game is to use your legs, arms, and core strength to push your opponent over the circle or over the line. And to win the game, the loser's foot must go completely outside of the boundaries. This game is played best two out of three attempts. And the first game, your right arm should be between your legs. And in the second game, your left arm should be between your legs. And if there is the need for a third tiebreaker game, both hands can be on the outside of the legs to make the game fair. So next, we will move into the demonstration. Okay, so to start with the Inuit back push game, we're going to use this circle as the boundary. And the participants are going to start back to back. And if you guys could just put both your legs up into like, yeah, like that. And so we're going to start with left hand on the inside of the legs and, and uh, right hand on the outside. And so the objective of this game is to push the other participant outside of the circle until at least their foot is fully outside. Um, so yeah, do you guys have any questions? Are you good? Okay, so you can start. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so then we'll go back to the middle. So that's one for you, and then one zero. And then we're going to do the second one, but this time the arms are going to be opposite. So right arm in the center and left arm on the outside. And now you guys can push again. So three, two, one, go. Okay, <laughs> so she won 2-0, but we're just going to say it was like 1-1. One, one. Okay. So okay. if a tiebreaker game needed to be done, um, both hands would be on the outside. And then, so like that, yep. 3, 2, 1, go. In the demonstration, we can see that the Inuit back push game incorporates the fundamental movement skills of locomotion. Since your body will have its weight unequally distributed, depending on where your arms are positioned, there will be an increased importance of balance. Knowing where your center of gravity is, is crucial to succeeding in this game, because you need to be able to use your arms, footwork, and body weight to incorporate your strength to push your opponent outside of the boundaries. Developing locomotion skills also includes the ability to control your body and strength. Since the back push game is a different method of locomotion compared to other games, having control allows for better performance as well as safer execution of the skill. I hope you enjoyed my video, and maybe you can give this game a try next time you're in the gymnasium. Thanks for listening.